What's up everybody, Echo here. Welcome back to another video. Another Dreamlight video. It has been a while. Our valley has been overrun by more night thorns than ever. I have done some questing. Not like the talking part, but like the gathering of resources. Like we did, I'd finished the cooking thing. I have five star meals and I we need to get tinkering parts. So that's still a thing. But here... Is the five sword meals so we have to bring merlin mickey scrooge and goofy and then this is all the tinkering parts for mickey's machine so let's let's just get into it let's just get down dream light magnifier let's just you know boom what else do we yeah we need more iron but that is not happening so oh yeah and we have like a crap ton of this stuff so we may as well just have a field day and open all this delicious goodies. Okay, basic t-shirt dress. Let's see what else. Let's see, icy blue sweetheart strapless gown. Hell yeah. What else is there? Classic gold hoops. Ugh, yes. Um, Loose blue button-up shirt. That looks nice. And then we also got some black and yellow sporty shorts. Let's go play some basketball. And then gold square pendant necklace. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. So we have all that stuff. We have to bring Mickey, Merlin, Scrooge, and Goofy. A whole bunch of meals. We have to talk to Remy about the price of fame. So let's go return to Remy. Because I think Mickey's in there but not completely sure. Uh, yes, he is. Okay, so Mickey, we'll actually talk to Remy first. Hey, it's you! Thank you so much, oh. Echo. While you were covering my orders, I organized the kitchen, ah. sharpened the knives, coordinated the spice rack. Now I can fill orders fast enough to handle things on my own. But you were great. Please come back anytime you would like. Very nice. So now we have him level eight. Hiya, pal. Hiya, Mickey. Okay, so I've got something to give you. A blubbies. Blubblubbies. Oh boy, that's nice. Thanks, okay, well, I guess... Bring five-star meals to Mickey's... Did, oh, did I mess that mm -hmm. up? A three-course thank you. Oh my... Mm. Oh boy, what did I do to deserve this delicious looking meal? I whipped it up with a little help from Remy. We wanted to thank everyone who took care of the village during the forgetting. It's our way of showing gratitude to you for taking care of Remy's recipes, doing all the gardening around here, just being you. Uh, gardening. Oh, well, I do my best. But it's nice to have somebody here who's got the magic touch again. Thanks, Echo. With you and Remy around, I just know this village is going to keep getting better and better. So long for now. So I messed up. So we need to make another five-star meal, if we can. Here's a five-star meal. Can we make a potato leek soup? We can. Okay, well, that's good, at least. Because that would have sucked. And we don't need to talk to Donald. And then we got Scrooge in here, maybe another person like Goofy. A minute of your time. Greetings and salutations. A house fit for a duck, a three course thank you. Here is a potato soup. Hey, now that's about as fine as meal as I've ever seen. Are you just giving something like that away for free? Consider it a little thank you paint. Payment from me and Remy for taking care of the village during the forgetting. Thank you, Mr. McDuck, for keeping the village economy going, believing there was something here worth saving, giving me a discount on my next purchase, hopefully. Nope, believing there was something here worth saving. I've made many a penny by investing in ventures that others thought were hopeless causes, Echo. I knew all we needed was some as someone as enterprising as yourself to come along, and I appreciate Buffy! you thanking me. A wee bit of gratitude is worth more than all the gold in the Yukon, in sentiment, that is... Bye-bye now. Okay, now let's give Goofy his meal. Howdy! Gorsh, this smells delicious, Echo. Who's it for? It's a little gift from me and Remy to you. Thanks for taking care of the village, watching over the royal fishing rod, always being yourself. 
watching over the royal fishing. Oh shucks, I'm speechless. Whoa. Uh, Earth the Goofy. <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. I was just being speechless, like I said. Thanks, Echo. I can't wait to get my favorite double-ended fork spoon and dig in. Yuck. Works for me. Okay, so now we just need to find Merlin, who's not here. And you know what? Let's check out this place. I'm not gonna really buy anything. Ooh. That is cool, and I do not have that in my world. And I hate when I see stuff that's not in my world. And then that table and stuff. Eh, nothing really spectacular. You know what? Let's talk to... No, let's not. Let's let's continue on the quest that we are on right now. Hi, I'm Merlin. A moment, if you would. No. I need your help. No, you don't. I need your help. Well, hello. Well, then, what's all this? <laughs> I don't recall requesting such an extravagant meal, though I am a bit peckish. It's a thank you meal, courtesy of me and Remy. We wanted to show our gratitude to you for taking care of this village during the forgetting, and for being the greatest wizard in any century, even more marvelous than indoor plumbing, the only one who knows what's going on half the time. <laughs> well, it helps to have a glimpse of the future, and to have a great deal of books to consult. Actually, I'm, well, I'm afraid I haven't the faintest idea what to say. I suppose, hmm, I suppose, ne I never expected a thank you. I was simply doing what was right. Hey, you're welcome, should cover it. No need to say anything, just enjoy it. Merlin, do you have tears in your eyes? No need to say anything. Just enjoy, buddy. Wonderful! Ah, Shael. Uh, now, see here. Acts of kindness like this meal are what hold this valley together, Echo. I don't know why he's doing you. somewhat of goofies. But, oh well. Okay, now let's go back to Remy. Ooh, 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 chest. Blue chest, my favorite chest. We need like 50 of these chests. And we got the 50. Now we are at 2,150. Mm-hmm. But okay. Pretty sure Remy's in here. Okay, Remy. What is next? Hello! Hey, Echo. You're back. Did you have time to bring those meals to Merlin, Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy? How did they react? Did they enjoy them? They were really happy. You almost made Merlin cry. Of course they enjoyed them. I made them. They were really happy. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. And hey, while you were taking care of all that, I thought of a special meal I could make for you. Mm, you're not going to make me gather the ingredients, are you? I don't know what to say. Aw, thanks, Remy. Anytime, Echo. Here you go. One three-course thank you for everything you do around yeah. here. Bon appetit. Ooh, a salad. Ooh, a ratatata. Ooh, a da ba ba ba. Banana split. Thanks. Woo. Okay, now we should talk to Mickey because we're here. Hey there. It's done. Hot dog. Let's find Minnie. See if it works. So long for now. Find Minnie in the village. Okay, gotta search for Minnie. Minnie, Minnie Moose. I, I mean, I mean, I mean Minnie Mouse. Not Minnie Moose. You're not a moose, Minnie. I apologize. do apologize thoroughly. Oh yeah, Minnie. Oh, good. Minnie, here. you've stopped disappearing. The magnifier is working. <laughs> You're right. I'm here. I'm... Goodness, I'm sleepy. I don't feel like quite like oh. myself. It's almost like I'm missing an anchor. Something to bring me back for good. Oh, I feel like I've been wondering for ages. Ooh, I've never been so tired. If only I could lie down. Where's my... I think I had a house with a bed in it. A soft bed. Do you think you could bring back my house? Now we have to talk to Mickey and bring back his house. There's your dreamlight uh -huh. magnifier. Gosh, Minnie looks so tired. We need to get her house back. But it disappeared a while ago. Say, I bet you can use your magic to bring Minnie's house back. It's a cute pink house with heart shapes in the windows. So long for now. Yeah, so long for now. Place Minnie's house in the village. Do, 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 do. Let's find Minnie's house. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it. Let's just put it like over here for now. It'll probably be moved. Hopefully, it's not too expensive. Actually, let us eat a ratatatata. And we can drift. Okay, how much is this going to cost me? Please don't be like. More than I, have. I promise McDuck Construction can make you a house that's perfect for our dear mini. Five grand. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, don't even. We need to make some money. 
Okay, well now that we picked them all, I am going to sell them and see how much we get. Hi there, pal. Um, dude, we got like way more oh. than enough. Heck, I guess. Okay, now let's buy. Okay. Good day, dear. I promise McDuck Construction can make you a house that's perfect for our dear Minnie. Let's build her house. You won't regret this investment. If I know Minnie, and I do, she'll love it. Hell yeah. She's here. Go talk to Minnie. Come on, Mickey. Let's go talk to Minnie. Uh -huh. Okay, Minnie. What do you want? Thank you for bringing my house back. I feel so much more awake now. My head is still a little bit muddled. Are you Mickey? Uh, that's a really weird question, Minnie. You don't remember Mickey? Well, I remember the name, but not much else. I wandered for so long, and all I remember is that I was looking for Mickey. It was very important that I find him. Don't, don't worry. He's here, and I've got to go talk to him. Goodbye. Yeah, Goodbye. that's cool. We got Minnie back, but she doesn't know where she is or who she is. I'll spend time with her and see if I can jog her memory. Maybe I'll talk to Merlin too. He might know why she's forgotten things. Thanks for all your help, Echo. You're a real good one. Okay. Now, the only thing to really do left is the house fit for a duck. So let's go talk to Scroogey. Scroogey McDoogey. Okay, Scrooge. Good day to you. Hi, hello. Uh, yeah, no, we're just gonna do the fit for duck. Echo, you've got the look of someone who's about to ask me for a favor. It's not for me. It's for Donald. He needs help fixing his house. Oh, so it's my loafer of a nephew who's looking for help, eh? And if I know Donald, he wants it for free. Why should I lose money in this venture? Because he's family, because he's really mad, because I won't stop bothering you until you do. Because he's family. Bah, he may be family, but he treats me like his personal piggy bank. Mm. Of course, he did do a fine thing to help the valley. All right, I'll give you something to help Donald. Here. What the heck is this? What's this? The blueprints for Donald's house? You'll need those if you're going to fix it. <laughs> and that's not all. You'll need a boat repair kit, too. How much are you going to make me pay for one of those? Ah. Oh, I don't keep that sort of thing lying around. Wouldn't be profitable. You can make one yourself. If you gather some softwood, hardwood, rope, and iron ingots. Oh, great. Thank you kindly. Oh, great. More stuff to gather. <laughs> okay, okay. Found a strange artifact. Tinkering parts. We can start some quests, because... This I'm going to probably do off camera. To be quite honest with you. Uh, Kristoff. Where is that guy? Kristoff is in his house. M mm -hmm. We could do Moana. Who's also in her house. So, that's fun. Everybody doesn't... Nobody likes the rain. Come on, people. We need to get out of there. Uh, okay, Moana. What's up, girl? What do you need? Hello. Echo, do you remember that mysterious shiny thing we found on the boat? I have an idea about it, but I'll need your help. I'll need help. I'm happy to help. I love a good mystery. Well, I'm pretty sure it came from the sea and has some mm -hmm. kind of power. Mario knows a lot of, about both of those things. But he's not really talking to me. He's still upset that I left without telling him. It makes sense that he's upset. Have you apologized? Why do you need to tell him everything? He's not the boss of you. No, he's not, but he's my friend. I should have told him where I was going. I think he's upset because he was worried about me. So I'm thinking he might change his mind if we got him some gifts. Maui loves presents, especially food. Since he got here, I know he really likes seafood salad, fruit salad, and something called a seafood platter. Could bring him those meals. It might help. Great. Let's talk later. Do I... Oh my gosh. Why do you... Ugh. So many things to do. So many. Okay, well, I am. Oh. I. Oh, ah, there's still another one. 
another more fish more fish more fish i am actually going to expand this 28 backpack slot because i want more room i want more room and then did we complete oh we did so now we have 45 <laughs> Oh, gimme. Okay, so of course let's get this. And then we have to get this. And then we will get that once we get 10 more. But that's a later date. And then Dreamlight. Yes. 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 <laughs> and yes, yes. Okay. Cook the following meals from Maui. I don't know. I don't know if we have those meals. Why is it thundering? Why is it thundering? Alright, let's just check if we can do any of these. We can make a fruit salad. So, okay, next quest. Okay, who are we gonna see on this dreary, dreary day? Let's go see Scroogey. It's raining. It? Hmm. I wonder where my rain boots are. Uh, no clue. Don't care. Hello. The forest of Valley could become a top-tier tourist destination, you know. But no one wants to hike in that forest the way it looks at present. I'll decorate it and make it a perfect place for a nature hike or romantic picnic, watching all the birds and critters. Nature hike. Hey, that's using your thinking cap. Some good signposts and hiking trails would make it much more inviting. Nothing clears the mind like a good hike. As long as there's treasure to find at the end of it. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, well this one we definitely can do. Cause it's just laying down random random things. So let's go do that one quickly. Get that one off the list. Might have to clear a little bit of room. But Let's see here. Furniture. All. Let's just like. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. It's actually funny that actually doesn't look like terrible. I mean, it's not good at all, but it doesn't look like just terrible. But okay, let's go. Oh, Scrooge, Scrooge, we finished your quest. Pretty easy to good do. Day, the Forest of Valor looks splendid. Well done, <laughs> Echo. As I always say, a solid investment is sure to reap a solid reward. Level 31. Ooh, we got some thorny pants. Rebuild the valley. Forest of Valor. Okay, next quest. Let's talk to Kristoff. Because why not? Also, for the building, I know I've said it before, but in this world, I'm not going to be building at all. In the other world, I have built a lot. Um, and I do want to show it off and stuff, but I also kind of want to, like, rebuild some parts. So it's not perfectly ready yet. But I do want to make some building videos in the future. Okay, Kristoff. Hi. Hi. Oh, hey, Echo. Do you have a minute? Oh, he's for my friends. Uh, Thanks. Glad you think of me as a friend, because this is a little mm -hmm. odd. So, um, while Donald was on the other side of the dark portal, I was living in the woods for a pretty long time. How did you survive by yourself? Why did you just come back to the village? How did you survive by yourself? Easy. I know the plants. I can eat. And I made myself a salad so. I was pretty comfortable, but when he got back, Donald pointed out that there was one thing I was missing. So, turns out it's been a while since I had a bath. Would you be up for helping me make some soap? Ah, it's a useful skill to learn. Ah. Practical. I like that viewpoint. Well, to make soap, Echo, we need lye. Now, I don't want to scare you, but it's kind of compli complicated to make. You might want to take <laughs> notes. For lye, we need ashes. Uh, I suppose you know where to get that? Yeah, don't worry. Back when I was stuck in the forest, I made a campfire near the entrance to the fort, Frosted Heights. If you could get some of the burned logs there, you can grind them into ashes at a crafting station. Then I bring you that back? I still definitely not lie. 
What do I do next? And then I bring uh, you the ashes. No, there's one more step, Echo. Uh huh. After that, you boil the ashes like any other meal to make fly. Once you've got that, come see me and we can talk about what to do next. Huh. Got it. Great. I'll figure out what else we need while you make the lie. Remember, my camp was near the entrance to the Frosted Heights in the forest. Hey, thanks. Leaving the woods behind. I was, I was gonna say that his uh, hair looks a little not right, but I think it's because he's dirty, <laughs> and he might, uh, you know, need a bath. Oh, finally the rain stopped. Whew. Okay, campfire. Here we are, burnt logs. Now we need to turn it into ashes at the crafting station. And then we need to cook it with, just boil it, I think, is what he said. Don't know why I picked that up. Cool. Very random, but okay. Hey, Merle. Oh, this valley is a destruction zone, but that's okay. Um, let's make some ashes. And then let's turn said ashes into lie at the cooking station. There we go. Now bring lie to Kristoff. Where is he's? Oh, oh, I forgot. I made the path on that side so I can collect the iron. So we'll just, you know, surf to him. I also really want, um, what is it? Like, for this, like, gliding or sprinting or whatever you want to call it, I really want them to make mounts for it. Because, like, oh, it'd be so much fun to ride the magic carpet or, like, oh, Raja or something like that. That'd be just... Mm. Okay, Kristoff. Let's make you some soap. There's your lie. What do you need? Oh, hey. Hey, great looking lie, Echo. Nice work. Okay, the next ingredient we need for soap is oil. I usually use carrot oil. Sure, you could do that, but why not mix it up? Let's add something else. Mai has pretty great hair. We could find out what he uses. My guess it must have something to do with coconuts. That makes sense, but I don't know anything about coconuts. You might want to ask him to be sure. See ya. Okay, now we're going to go talk to Maui. I noticed that most of these quests are like, go here, do this, come back, talk. Like, it's like fetch quests. And while they are cool, or some of them are cool, it, it would also be nice for, like, other stuff, you know? <laughs> okay, Maui. Hello! Good to see ya. Leaving the woods behind. Hey, Echo, what can I do for you? Maui is always at your service. Well, unless I've got a thing, and I do have a lot of things. <laughs> I'm helping Kristoff make soap, and I thought you might have a secret ingredient that keeps your hair so shiny. Uh, what's your routine? Well, nothing will make anyone's hair look as great as mine, but they can get close. I have two words for you. Yes! Coconut oil. You're welcome. You're the real deal, kid. Grab carrots and coconuts? Okay. <laughs> the village is shaping up, thanks to all the cool stuff I've brought, like coconuts. Hmm. Now, what to do next? Uh, I guess the sky's the limit. The sky. Ha, that's it. <clears throat> I remember Goofy used to have this flying thing he called the kite. Trust me, it was a big hit. Okay, go. Okay, go find what we need to make kites so everyone can enjoy the breeze. Mm -hmm. The breeze that I harnessed. You're welcome. I'm pretty sure they're made with wood and fiber. Oh, and get some ink to put designs on them. I'm thinking my profile. Who wouldn't love that? Get some okay, ink. See you gave me some ink. Quests, quests, quests. How many quests do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six quests. And we have like so many other ones. Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay, harvest spices. So we need carrots and we need coconuts. Well, coconuts should be easy to get. Um, oh, hey, another blue. Another blue chest. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, here's the coconuts. Eight, six, nine. And we need carrots, which I just sold a whole bunch, but I sh should have. Should have carrots. So, we are good. Okay. Coconuts and carrots. Let's see. Which chest I have. 
Sweet. So we need three more, which makes 12. And then carrots is not in that chest. Or this chest. Or this chest. Or this chest. I think it might be in this chest. No, maybe this chest. No, this not this chest either. Where is our food? Oh, I know exactly where the food is. So the food I put over here, right next to Wally's garden. So here, split into 20, and take and show Kristoff the coconuts. So now we have to show, go back, show him the coconuts, and yeah, that should, that shouldn't be it, because he's gonna make it into, he's gonna have to craft it into soap. Hey, so, buddy. uh, I kind of need your help. Yep, coconuts, just like you said. Well, I'm happy to try it. Let me give you the lie back. Go craft and come back to me. Now you have everything we need to make soap. I'll start heating up the water. Hey, thanks. Craft the carrot soap. Hi. You know what? Let's hang yeah. out. Because I'm tired of running back to you. I don't know why I forget that all the time. To, like, run back and go... You know, like, instead of run back, make him follow me. Because it's just such a better idea when you're working on someone's quest is to get them to follow you. It's just, uh, it just makes so much more sense, you know? You know, you know? Okay, let's craft carrot soap. With coconut. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Um, carrot soap. And I think that's it. Bring carrot soap to Kristoff. Here you go, buddy. Oh no. Oh no. Ha! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, I'll be back. Okay, so we are back. I had to go find him again because, you know, it glitched. I hate that glitch. It's so annoying. But here we go. Nice carrot soap, Echo. It smells great. And the coconut really adds to it. Okay, I have to ask, why carrot? Do you really like the smell? Is there a specific memory attached to it? You know you don't eat the soap, right? Is there a specific memory attached to it? Kind of. When I was growing up, carrots were always a big treat for me and my friend Sven. If we had enough to make soap, that was extra special. Okay, time for me to try out this new soap. Be back soon. You know, that felt really good. Thanks, Echo. <laughs> I hope I don't smell like cake. I'm glad to have helped. Thanks for teaching me how to make carrot soap. Anytime. See, I thought it, I was, I'm very confused because I thought he was a blonde, but he's brunette. But anyways, guys, I have a lot of um, stuff to do outside of recording because I have to gather all this stuff. So it's going to take me a bit. But anyways, I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to do some out outside grinding. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe more. And as always, see you in the next video.